Absolutely. That's, that's very south, then. Yeah, sure. and that's totally. Florida. Uh-huh. That's totally – Because I don't like, think they're doing that in Texas. I'll be honest. No, you're probably I, I don't right. know anything – and I, I have to say this. I don't know anything about what I'm about to talk about, and that is black college athletes and how they behave. But I would speculate like Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, I would think they're – the lot of the swagger would get stripped out because it's way fucking serious. Like they, it just seems like those the what conference is that in Texas? That's the Big Twelve. In it college. seems like they don't really fuck around so much with the swagger. It's more like we're rolling at the fucking Alabama next week. I don't yeah. I don't need you fucking putting on or the yeah, Sandman. We're rolling outfit. in Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sure. I need you. Fu- and like these are guys that are actually in the playbook. They might may or may not white and block. That's all right. They may or may not white and black. I'm saying I'm yeah. white people also. They may or may not go to class. But their nose is in that fucking playbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're not like, fuck it. They're not student body no. right. Charge after the game. Yeah. On that whole Friday night lights saga in the movie, I mean, that's real. Texas football, that's life to them. Yeah. Whereas in Florida, I mean, we, Florida put out What is it? Is, is it like putting out a rap athlete. album? Like, I play wide oh, receiver yeah. for Coral oh, Gables. Oh, when we went, we Check went it. College, I'm down with the row. And we split back down to South Florida because we were in Lauderdale for spring break. I had to take a couple friends. They were like, well, let's go work out. We've been partying for three days. I'm like, you want to work out? Yeah, well, let's go to my high school gym. We rolled in, and you remember Rocky Three? Yeah. When like when like Apollo <laughs> brings Rocky back to the gym in L.A., that's what the <laughs> shit was like. We rolled in, everybody just stopped. I mean, it was shit. dirty, it was sweaty. All black guys playing high school football. Did anybody say you were corny? No, not me. Not me. Yeah, you were. I had just you were left. a fucking Mack so, truck and cleats. So I had, I had, I had respect, but you two were white boys that were guy. with me were not. So it was like they come up and show me love, and they're looking at my two friends the whole time, and I'm like, they're okay. They're like, all right. Charlie, for those of you listening, Charlie Gwenser is here. He runs uh, the La- the Asheville Comedy Festival. He's a guy who's he's physically imposing, but he's not a guy you look at and go, holy shit, that's a fucking big guy. Uh, but he is, you know, he's like six six, close to three bills. But he car- he's not fat. He's not muscle bound. He's just like Suge Knight big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's like the white Suge Knight, like just large. And Charlie's a guy that will call you. And we all have friends like this that will say like, <laughs> I was at a strip club last night and I just fucking crushed like four bouncers. Now, I don't know. I haven't been to a strip club in probably a decade. I'm not just saying that. Yeah. I really just, there's nothing there for me because I got a short thing upstairs. And bouncers tend to be enormous fucking men yeah. that can't wait to put their fucking hands on somebody mm-hmm. because their life didn't work out. They are the fucking work equivalent of a blue tarp on your roof. This is shit is not working out. Like when you drive by a house and there's like blue tarp and shit on the roof, like, you know, everyone in that house is going, this is not how we fucking plan this shit at all. So like every bouncer in the world, is a failed something. Would you agree? <laughs> like yeah. athlete, yeah. like they got kicked out of the military for selling fucking grass. Like I was going to be Mr. Olympia, but I'm just not mm-hmm. big enough and I couldn't do it all natural. So they go to the fuck. So now this is the bouncer's power is to let you in or not. They are the fucking gatekeeper of pussy behind them. Yeah. There's an entire room filled with pussy over my shoulder. And if I feel like it, you can just fucking stand here. Maybe you give me a $20 bill or maybe I'll look over your head like you're not here because I'm a fucking six foot eight Mongo freak of fucking nature that didn't pan out at the U. And then – so they're enormous men with a lot to prove to themselves because there's a hole in their hearts where their former lives were, where they thought they were going to wind up. So the fact that Charlie will call – and he doesn't call like – if I ever got in a fight, I would call you guys like, guess what happened? (laughs) Oh my god. You'll never fucking guess. I fucking hit this guy. It would be like my whole story for six years. You'd be like, we know. You got in a fucking fight and you won. How much longer do we have to hear this fucking story, JJ? But Charlie's like – I'm like, what did you do last night? He goes, "Uh," and this is a very long time ago obviously, pre-marriage and pre-everything. He goes, "Uh, because we're a bunch of squares. We we actually are a bunch of squares. Charlie's like, I went to uh, wherever the fuck, well, Private Eyes. It was some my fu- brother-in-law's uh, bachelor party. Where, what was the name? It's always like Private Eyes or – how the fuck it did was, a spearmint – It was Cheetahs. How did a spearmint rhino get into the lexicon of girls taking their fucking clothes off for money? Spearmint Like rhino. Cheetahs, I get. It's a cat. You're on the prowl. Yeah. Private Eyes. It's secret. It's a spearmint. What is what – I don't get it either because nothing in there tastes like – or smells like fucking spearmint. <laughs> it smells like fucking sizzling. <laughs> So Charlie calls me. I'm like, what happened? He goes, oh, I just fucking hung over. Is that my brother's 
bachelor party and like what else happened he tells me something else and he goes me and my brother got super drunk and went to a strip club i'm like how did it go and he goes it was fun it was all right I go, and it was a different state i'm like were they nasty he goes they're all right i kicked the shit out of four bouncers like it what he didn't lead with it is my right, point right. yeah like i would call you from the fucking <laughs> yeah. parking lot and here the fuck out of four guys <laughs> four yeah. bouncers Bouncer. like four enormous guys whose main purpose in life is to put hands on people not like a black yeah. audience yeah where they put hands on people to heal right. and they shake the shit out of somebody to wake them up to right. your hilarious stories, right. more stories. Instead, they put hands on people to try to kill and maim for when the cops come, they're like, hey, man, I was doing my job. Yeah, they tried But the that. thing that bothered Charlie the most was there was a fifth bouncer and he would have fucked him up too. But in Charlie's word, words, some stupid bitch hit me in the face with a bottle so I never got to him. I remember this story. I totally forgot yeah. about this. Until yeah, then. I had to wear makeup at uh, my sister's <laughs> wedding the next day to cover up the, the, all the gay. cuts on my face. Are you serious? Yeah. It's pretty gay, man. Yeah. I remember. I remember. Well, she was embarrassed. She was like, I can't. You should have rolled out with the fucking scars oh, on your I was face. I ready to go, but she wouldn't let me. It was her wedding. What were we going to do? I saw Charlie split somebody's face open at a bar one time. <laughs> really? Yeah. When? Uh, when we were in Hickory. And, North uh, Carolina? Yep. And the, the, the bar was packed. How long night. ago? This would be... Ten, Ten years, years ago. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah. And Charlie's and not a Charlie. No. For the record, Charlie Grenzer, who's one of my guests on More Stories, and Tom Segura, Charlie's never looking for it. No, he was. Charlie's wasn't. one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, but he's also a guy. You're like one of those like tiny Irishmen, like from like 150 pound Irishmen, like fellas, you can't fucking put your hands on the ladies, like where you know you'll win just because what you're saying is correct. And that knowledge of your point of view is correct will carry you through the fight. Like I've seen 150-pound little Irish guys fight like six black guys at the Boston Comedy Club in the village and just fucking clean their house. Clean house, however, clean yeah. the clocks. Yeah. I mixed up my fucking metaphors. And it's just like – and I think it's just the I'm right, you're wrong route yeah. carries them through that fight. Charlie's sure. one of those guys. Absolutely. It's a Napoleon complex thing. Like, uh, but not with you. You're no, fucking 6'6", six, six, 400 pounds. Like I – it's the guy. And I'm talking about the guys who always want to fight me, not the bouncers. The bouncers that they thought I was going to kill the stripper who hit me with the bottle, so they were coming after me, and I was going to kill that bitch. In all if fairness, I could hear I was going to. Kill in him. all fairness, you were bothering the DJ. Apparently, I, uh, I guess I. What a them. fucking I jerk you are! But uh, <laughs> goes to a strip club. Hey, could you do me a favor and play Alice in Chains, Man in the Box? Uh, we lost. <laughs> we lost. We lost somebody in our party in the limo. When you get a played. chance. Could you play Daddy's Gonna Pay for Your Crash Car by you too? Could you mix it in between Pebbles and Bam Bam stage with it? Hey, are you, excuse me, excuse me, sir, 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 could you play Enter Sandman by Metallica, sir? And then the bouncer goes, hey, you gotta leave him alone and then fucking bedlam. The best part was when I, I, I actually somehow got tossed out the back door. And by the time I made it back around the strip club, the Broward County Sheriff was already there. And I was walking up and I was fixing my suit, like popping all the dust off and stuff. And when did you st- in a suit? I was in a suit. <laughs> did you stand up, look at the cop and no. go charge out to the game? Well, kind of. I came walking around and there was four bouncers and a DJ sitting there on the curb. All their clothes were ripped. They're bleeding out of their faces. They're all fucked up. And the sheriff just looks at me and goes, did you do this? And I went, yes, sir. And he goes, Come over here and talk to me. And he what are you showed, fucking Wolverine? I showed I showed him my license. Well, I didn't know. Dude. It was it, like I thought they were going to kill me. There's four big. Mo- I mean, it was like pure instinct. Did you do this? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Come well, with he's me. trying to keep the calm, and he looked. Did he at my take license. you into the side of the volcano and, and show <laughs> you the fucking map of the city and how you could help fight crime? And, and, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't, <laughs> did you? <laughs> wow! Thank God Bruce Wayne didn't see this. He would have been irate that you ruined his city. <laughs> what a fucking bizarre man you are! I know. Wait, so what? what? Did you tell the guy to fucking get away with this, though. Well, he he said, give me your license. Charge it to and, the game. And I'm all, I'm over by his car at the Charge time. Charge it! I thought we were here to play. Like 15 feet away from the guys I just beat up, and and he looks at my license. And he goes, California, huh? And I went. Yes, sir. Right and I, just, I grabbed my license and I just walked you away. Your license? Yeah, I just kind of picked it out of his fingers and I went, "Yes, sir. I don't want to come back for court." And I just walked away. Never stopped me. Hand the mic over to Tom Segura, uh, your mom's house podcast. He has. Tell me about the Hickory bar fight with Charlie. We were at a. We were at a and then pack. we got to get back to breaking down blacks and whites. Okay, <laughs> we were back. We were. Uh, we were in a bar. We had a booth and then we had like, three <laughs> friends. Sorry. 
but, <laughs> what a fucking bunch of hillbilly assholes. Yeah, we had a boot. You're in Hickory, North Carolina, yeah. and you had to put hey, that in like, you we know, we're boot. not assholes. <laughs> we had a boot. Uh, you know, we're not some fucking ham and eggers out there fucking too deep at the bar drinking well drinks. Yeah. We had a booth. We had a booth. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you had fucking Perkins. But there, the bar <laughs> was... a fucking bar. What the, bar has the boots? Bar, the, the bar It must had, have been a fancy place. It was really nice. I and then after called, the booth... did it was called the Windy City. Were you trying to negotiate? Sundries. Were you trying to negotiate up to a banquette? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're on the. Wait, what do I got to do to get up to the banquette? The boots are on, uh, like this, like the second, like the naturally six yeah. stairs up, right? Yeah, because you so don't want to be with a, the common people. There's a railing. There's a railing, and then that's <laughs> over to the, the. So there's a guys all along the railing, and Charlie is like, we're we're all walking through, like trying to get through the the crowd to your fucking VIP booth. booth, your Perkins and, uh, booth in the middle of sundries <laughs> right. in Hickory, North Carolina. Right. And as we're, we're, I cannot imagine the amount of fucking Dale Earnhardt shirts that are in this place. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that rednecky that pretty college, this this was like more of like a college bar. So everyone's so, wearing cargo shorts and a fucking hat pulled down low. Yeah, everybody looks the same. It's yep. amazing. Yeah, right, khaki shorts. Yeah, yeah. so. But then the, these guys were kind of like the rough guys at this bar, right? Sure. So we, as we scoot through this one guy, he was way shorter than Chuck, but he turns and he's like, hey, man. Chuck is Charlie. Grant it's Charlie. Right? This guy, like I'm right behind him. And the guy goes, hey, man, you just like stepped on my shoes. And Chuck's no, like. No, can I wait one second? Yeah. I'm going to predict that Charlie looked the man in the eyes and said, sorry. That's exactly what happened. Okay, go on. So he's like, really sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. And he's like, all right. And then we go. We have a drink. We go back to the bar. We get like a second round of drinks. And then it happens again. You stepped on his feet again? No, it was this time he's clutch. like, he bumped him. He yeah, was just he like, he him. was like, hey man, you just bumped me. You stepped on my shoes last time. Like, what the fuck's the problem? And he's like, Charlie's like, uh. Mm -hmm. Now, why you know, are I'm you a big trying. fucking lummox in a bar? Why do you keep hitting out of 400 it's people? Just, this one guy, you just keep bumping he's in. He's barely, him. barely. Like, it's not like All he's right. shoving. But it him. is odd, like out of the oh, whole. It's, it's, a real small bar. it's very packed. So, so then the guy. He probably bumped 40 people. Yeah. yeah. All right. but, but this guy has an attitude about it. So the guy's like, Tom Segura. You, you did it again, man. And Chuck's like, look, I'm not trying to. He's like, well, if it happens again, we're going to have a problem. And I uh -oh, think. Oh, shit. I asked him to walk away. Yeah, yeah, but then he didn't. Yeah, you know, he started, he started like, yeah. he was like, yeah, and that's when everything went downhill for this dude because Chuck grabbed him. So he put his hands on you. Yeah. He put his Chuck, hands on Charlie. Chuck grabs him by the middle of his shirt, and don't forget the railing, the railing's right behind the guy. <laughs> so he it's grabs, like he grabs his shirt, he pushes him against the railing, so the guy starts to lean back, his oh, back that's is a horrible bending. position to be in. Right, and then it, Chuck just went, one, bah! Two, like just direct into the guy's face, and the guy's went hack, hack, <laughs> like that, and it was just on at that point. It just, I mean, the guy, his face changed shapes. Did people jump in that were his boys. Well, here's what his boys jumped in, but then also did you jump in? Well, not only me, but the entire line. from the football team was at the bar. Oh shit! And when they came over, they were, these guys were like, uh -huh. so as far as Whitaker would say, next thing you know, it's a full on Dunnybrook. It was it was over quick, man. It was like you got a picture of one of my eyes. It wasn't necessary to go much further. Then and then the funny thing was the bouncers at the bar. Whereas most bouncers would just grab people, they were like they were like to Chuck. They were just like, yeah, you got to go. Like they didn't grab him. They're like, you just have to leave. We don't want you here right Did now. Did you do this? And he was like, well, that guy grabbed me for. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Charlie. fucking in the other fight at the strip club. I like that a fucking a, 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 a sheriff's department officer just pulls you aside like you're the fucking Dark Knight. Yeah, he totally did. Yeah. You do this? That's Charlie basically, says, yes, yeah, sir. "Yes, sir." And he goes, "I need to see your identification." And then Charlie knows right then and there he's going to pull out a fucking Bruce Wayne driver's license. So he hands it to the cop, and then as the cop goes to put on his glasses to read fucking Bruce Wayne, eccentric billionaire. Yeah. Charlie just takes it out of his hands and goes, problems. I don't want to go to court. And just walks away and gets in his fucking invisible spacecraft. We tried to, to get him to stay and the, and the bouncer was like, but you, we were like, those guys started it and the guy was like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, fight you, fight. you broke his face. Like you have to leave here. Like you can't do that to somebody. And then What's the remedy leave. for a broken face? Do you get face? Time. I don't know. Time? Time. Remember, you know the baddest dude I think in the NFL is for that? Anquan Bolden. Another yeah. great name, by the way. Anquan, yeah. Anquan, yeah. Went to Pahokee in Florida. Um, for a, he was Mr. Florida State Champs. But, so was Charlie. Yeah, well, this, uh, well, you weren't he, Mr. Florida. Except he were went you? to the fucking NFL. No. 
All right, so Anquan Bolden, sorry. When he got wrecked 